Hey guys, uh, Bob Brenneman here, and I'm doing a, uh, another episode of Just Sold, and we're going to walk you through a uh, townhome that we recently closed for uh, some clients from Massachusetts. Uh, it is a townhome inside of Dunes West, and I hope you guys enjoy. All right, y'all, so we're standing in front of uh, the home we just sold, and I'm going to walk you through it. So nice, you know, tall doors, tall doorways. Uh, you know, nice, you know, some color to the door. I like, I like a little different color. So you, you walk in and you've got uh, a big open space, family room, kitchen. Yeah, let me just kind of walk around and get y'all some shots. So a little eat-in kitchen, dining area there. And then the thing that I like about, you know, these these uh, units, besides I think the uh, exteriors are, are nice looking, is what they've done with the kitchen. You know, taking the cabinets all the way to the top, even though most people, including myself at 6'5", can't really reach those without a ladder. But I think they look good to run the cabinets all the way to the top of the ceiling. And, uh, you know, gas appliances. These are, these are all, this is kind of a standard. Uh, I don't think we did a whole lot of upgrades on this house. So this is pretty much the standard of what you would get uh, with a Pulte home. And pantry. And that's something that, you know, I'm glad that they can continue to do, uh, which was to put the wood pantries in. You know, back in, back in the day, they would put in the, uh, the wire mesh in those cabinets or in the pantry, and I always thought that that was a, you know, them cheaping out a little bit, but I was glad to see that they continued to do that. So the bedrooms are all upstairs in this one. Uh, you've got the six panel doors, which I think, uh, you know, add a nice look to the house. So the garage is here, and it's an oversized garage, you know, for a townhome, this is a uh, pretty decent size, pretty decent size space. And then it backs up to a private alley. Uh, it's got some woodlands and some more houses back behind you. Uh, you got a little, uh, drop off area for book bags and shoes. You've got your powder bath uh, down here. And you can kind of see some of the molding that they do uh, around the around the doors and they pan back through this one more time and then we'll go upstairs. And this, like I said, just recently closed. And oak hardwoods uh, going up the steps. And then then you've got an engineered uh, an engineered hardwood for the rest of the house. This is a uh, composite, which is getting put in a lot of houses these days. I don't know uh, why you wouldn't, honestly, in the environment that we build in down here, you know, the heating and, and, and con cooling can cause the floors to separate a little bit. And it's, and it's, you know, nothing structural, but it's aesthetically people, you know, don't want that. So these composite floors don't uh, shrink or expand like the other ones. And you've got two bedrooms at the top of the stairs to the left. And you can kind of see what I was talking about. You've got the alley back there, which is great for in my case for my uh, clients who have kids, place to play in the park uh, right down the road. And then basically the same size bedroom on the other side. Laundry room, tiled. And then, you know, continue kind of with that gray look. I guess it's gray. I'm almost, almost colorblind sometimes. But, uh, you know, that's a, a popular thing we're seeing now. That tile kind of even has a, a wood quality to it. So that is the uh, the bathroom. And then you've got, again, this, this kind of this pop-out room, um, which is pretty good size. And, you know, is, is, is nice for having some bonus space. And then right down from that, you've got the master. And the master has a deck off of it. That we'll go out and I'll show you in just a second. Let's do the master bath. So, you know, subway tile, as I always say, it's very timeless. Uh, it will always be in style, I think. And you're seeing a lot of builders put it in their houses. And again, continuing with the uh, you know, that grayish looking tint to the cabinets. So you can see, you know, that's an example of uh, very similar looking townhomes than the one I'm standing in across the street. The tile, and then, oops, water closet, and then a nice large walk-in closet, and then you know the, the thing that's nice about 
about this particular unit is you have the you have this outdoor deck you know, pressure treated lumber and you've got you know space to you know, put a hammock or some certainly some furniture out here if you wanted to all right y'all that is a wrap on this video if you want to talk about uh, real estate in charleston uh, i'm standing in dunes west today which is in mount pleasant if you want to talk about dunes west anything related to our area whether it's restaurants schools uh, things to do when you come on vacation or obviously real estate. I'm happy to talk to you. I've lived here for 30 years and uh, again, my name is Bob Brenneman. Uh, you can uh, reach me on uh, my phone at 843-345-6074 and you can check out our website devoted to uh, all of Mount Pleasant, which is mountpleasantproperty.net and our website uh, for all of Charleston is brennemangroup.com. Till next time, y'all.